Hey guys, RTT back here for that video. Guys, today we have some awesome information. First off, if you go ahead and go on your Galaxy Z Fold 3 or your Z Flip 3 and you go to system update, you might see one of two things. First off, you might see that you got an update today because finally the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3 got the update we were talking about around a couple weeks ago. Now, what this update does for the Galaxy Z Flip 3 and Z Fold 3 is it lets you be able to, when you're taking pictures of your dogs or your pets, it actually has facial recognition built in for the camera system them now so you can actually go ahead and take better pictures of your pets second thing it does go ahead and let you change the brightness of the galaxy z flip 3's outer display so that's a huge improvement it also improves some more stability issues and overall it's an amazing update but if you go ahead and go over to the Samsung members app on your Z Flip 3 or Z Fold 3 you can actually register for the one UI for uh, beta and this lets you be able to eventually download and install the beta on your Z Flip 3 or Z Fold 3. Now of course this gives you a crap ton of new features but keep in mind this, this is a beta also they did say that you want to make sure that your phone is globally unlocked uh, in order to go ahead and do this because again you gotta keep in mind before this got introduced to the United States which just did uh, this was only a thing in South Korea so now it is uh, for everyone so keep that in mind if you are installing this that you have to have a globally unlocked phone and also make sure you realize that this is a beta so there's going to be some issues some bugs all that kind of good stuff with that being said though let's go ahead and go over to change log and talk about what has been improved what is different so starting off right away guys again keep in mind as the beta goes on this will improve even more uh one ui4 will go ahead and come out in uh december with that being said though home screen has changed the home screen widgets have been redesigned to give you more information at a glance while making your home screen more stylish you also get recommendations for widgets that may be useful for you lock screen you can now change the audio output to a different device such as headphones or a speaker right from your lock screen you also get a customized uh, customized controls depending on which music app you're using a new voice recorder widget for the lock screen to let you record voice memos without unlocking your phone a monthly calendar appears on the calendar widget to help you keep track of your events from your lock screen always on display um make sure you guys do that right there you can always uh you can set the always on display uh turn on oh wait always on display turn on whenever you receive a notification uh new animation stickers are also available quick panels uh manage your notification more comfortably with enhanced layout and integrated section of alerts and silence notifications the brightness bar in the quick panel is larger so it's easier to uh, see and adjust dark mode we have wallpaper icons illustrations um are now darkened automatically to buy more consistent look and more comfortable for your eye uh charging effects new visual effects appear when you start charging your phone to help check the charging speed a samsung keyboard get uh, to your emojis just and stick it directly from the keyboard without with a single button uh self-expression is a tap away look to express something new combine two emojis and add an animation so you can get your feelings across new animated stickers are available for download keep your grammar on point with the new writing assistant powered by grammarly tips uh preview videos now appear when you enter the tips app helping you learn everything about your galaxy fold uh you can do sharing we have you can customize the lists of apps that appear on the store panel to reduce clutter and scroll left and right across the list of apps and people for the uh, and people for quicker access when you try to share pictures that have uh, problems like poor focus or framing you'll get suggestions on fixing them so your picture can always look the best the camera fixes which is actually a lot of these Enjoy a simpler, cleaner layout with a preview that shows only the information you need. The scene optimize, uh, optimizer button will only appear in photo mode if low light or you're scanning a document settings for portrait and night modes are now more intuitive. 
lens and zoom see the zoom levels on the level i on the lens icon for easier zooming even in modes that only support one lens video has never missed a moment recording now starts immediately after you press the recording button and said when you release it in photo mode touch and hold the shutter button to start a recording drag your finger to the lock icon to continue recording without having to hold down the button a uh, single take add extra time while recording in single take so you don't miss any key moments after recording is finished the content section menu has been improved to help you easily choose the perfect shots pro mode settings have reorganized for a cleaner look when grid uh, lines are on horizontal level indicates uh, helps you line up the perfect shots um enhanced scan features after scanning a document you can zoom in for final editing uh, when you scan a QR code, you can choose from several options depending on the type of QR code. Gallery. We're going to make sure this pops on screen. Okay. Stories now show a video preview on the cover and highlight video inside. You can see which uh, picture in a story was taken on a map. More options available for sorting albums that contains lots of photos. Album covers are now shown at the top of the screen when you open albums. Search suggestion uh, have been improved to help you find photos and videos. Recent searches are also suggested. Remastered pictures uh, can revert to original versions at any time, even after they're saved. You can now edit the time, the date, and location that pictures and videos were taken. Photo and video editor. Add fun emojis and stickers to your pictures and videos. Create video collages by combining multiple images and videos from your gallery. The new light balance options lets you edit the uh, tone of pictures more easily. The highlight reel editor has been enhanced to give you more controls. Revert edited in, uh, videos back to original uh, versions anytime, even once they're saved. Cut a face, pet, building, or any other object from a photo and paste it on a different one. AR uh, emoji. Use the AR emoji as a profile pic in contacts and Samsung accounts. You can also choose from over 10 poses or create your own expression. New AR emoji stickers that show only your face has been added. Have fun decorating your photos and sharing them with your friends. Make cool dance videos with AR emojis. Uh, choose templates from 10 different categories, including fun, cute, and party. Use your own drawing to create unique uh, clothes for your AR emojis. Multitasking. Put pin the window option, uh, pin the window option menu to the top of the pop-up window to make it easier to access. Easier, uh, easily resize picture and picture windows with pinch zoom. Keep your current app in view while using the edge panels. Blurring has been removed to help you uh, uh, help you see more at once. Settings. The new safety and emergency menu lets you manage your emergency contacts and safety information all in one place. Improved search features help you uh, find the settings you need. Uh, when you need them, you see you get suggestion for related features depending on what you search for. Digital well-being. Keep your eyes on the road with new driving monitor. You get reports on how much you use your phone and which apps you used. Clock. The dual uh, clock widget now shows different background colors for each city depending on whether it's day or night. Calendar. The new calendar layout lets you add uh, events instantly. You can also find events more easily with improved search features. A new home screen widget shows your monthly calendar along with today's events. Create, create shared uh, calendars and invite other Galaxy users to join. Messages. Photos, videos, web links, and other content will now appear in search results in the message app. My files. Search features have been improved you can also find the files you're looking for 
even if there's a typo. The recent files area has been expanded to help you more easily find files that you used recently. Samsung Internet, which we all use Chrome, but it doesn't matter. Uh, get more search suggestions when you enter text in the address bar. Results will appear in all new design. The new search widget helps you find what you're looking for right from the home screen. To protect your privacy, Samsung Internet will automatically start in secret mode if you're using the secret uh, mode during your last browsing section. Device in care to the main screen shows battery and security issues, making it easier to solve problems. Your phone overall status is shown as an emoji, helping you check the status at a glance. Now you get a right. Uh, now you can get right to Samsung members diagnosis from device care. If something seems wrong, your phone try diagnosis test to find out what the problem is and get suggestions for solving it. Samsung Health, a new tab layout at the bottom of the screen helps you access the features you need more easily. The new My Tab app shows your profile, uh, weekly summary, badges, and personal best. For your gender section, you can now choose other or preferred not to say. It is now easier to invite your friends to team challenges by setting a link. Additional snacks have been added to the food tracker. Bixby's routine. Let me make sure you guys actually seeing them. Everything I'm saying. More conditions are available for your routine. Start a routine during a call or a certain notification arrives. Make your routine do more. You can turn your enhanced process with a processing with a routine. There are more options connecting, disconnecting Bluetooth devices. Reorder actions by touching or holding actions on the uh, edit page. Advanced options have been added to let you be able to uh, let you wait before an action starts, confirm action and more. We move the restrictions uh, to some combinations of conditions and actions where you can even uh, you can do even more with your routines. Create custom icons for your routines using the camera or image from the gallery. Whew, this is actually a lot, surprisingly enough. Accessibility. Perform actions more quickly by moving your mouse pointer to one of the four corners of the screen. Adjust contract and size of the uh, same si size at the same time with custom display mode, high contrast and large display. Access uh, accessibility features more quickly with a floating button that always is available. More visibly options, more vis visibility options are available to meet your needs. You can reduce transparency or blur to make the screen extra dim. Set uh, different colors for each app, app's notifications. Or you can easily determine which, where the notifications are coming from. Uh, magnify. Fire windows have been merged with a new magnification menu, giving you options and more control for magnifying uh, content on the screen. So, yeah, one UI for obviously Android 12 now available for the Galaxy Z Fold 3, the Z Flip 3, if you are in the United States, which is absolutely awesome. Currently, I did register for it, and let me see if it actually pops up for me yet. It has not popped up for me yet. So once you register, it's pretty much just a waiting game. Eventually, it will pop up. You just go to settings, update your device, and it will pop up right there. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'm really excited to hear your thoughts and opinions because this is going to do could be a complete game changer for the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and probably also the Surface Duo 2 when it eventually comes to Surface Duo 2. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.